It's late night editing Wonder Marie. I'm joined with a small dog and a drunk badger. Nope, raccoon. That's what she is. I'm going to put this vlog into two because instead of smashing everything down into one cohesive weekly bit that fits all in my nice under 15 minute package, which I usually try and do for you, I thought I will spread out the Louisey goodness and give it all to you in two vlogs and I will not skimp on it. So in this first one, you're going to get the second one later this week. Two vlogs in one week. Yay! Hold for applause. When Louise was here, I filmed all the way through the weekend. Usually I just do Monday through Friday. Instead of taking all of that Louise-ness and making it into one small weekly bit package, I thought I will split it into two. Oh, dog breath. Oh. You may now partake in Louise referencing her breaths and possibly mine at least three times. Enjoy. Hello. We just have a couple hours before I go pick up Darcy and Scarlett from the airport. Nope. Louise and Darcy from the airport. I have a huge laundry pile to fold and some things to tidy up beforehand. This is going to be a fun week. Not only do you get Louise and Darcy, but there's a new fun thing to tell you about. I'm not ready yet. I'll tell you in a couple days probably. I know you'll see it soon though. Also, Ryan and I just had to take some headshots for Vlogger Fair, which is happening on this date because I can't remember it right now. And I was laughing because I think a lot of the headshots that you'll see will be professionally taken. Good lighting and, you know, people probably had some like psych you up Taylor Swift music playing while they were flipping their hair and get their pictures taken. And ours was, let's stand in front of the really dirty window with my phone and take some selfies while Luca tugs on my leg screaming because he wants to be picked up and put down for a nap. We only got one shot. I'll show it to you right now. And this is probably the one that'll be on the website. Bink. <laughs> This to that. I gotta chat fast because we're at a red light. I'm out the door headed to the airport to go get Louise. Her flight got in a little early, so I was all frazzled and had to dash out. I don't think I'm gonna record our greeting because she's not feeling well. I think there was some pretty bad turbulence and she's feeling quite motion sick. So as soon as she feels comfortable, the cameras will come back on. I'll see you all shortly. I will vlog the girls seeing each other though. That's the cute that everybody wants to see anyways, right? How excited are you, babe? So excited. <laughs> Let's go get them. We collected her bag. These two are giggling like crazy already. And I've sent Lou to the restroom to sprinkle a little cold water on her face. I'm sure she'll be right as rain. Maybe. Settled. I've tossed that one in a hammock. She's better. <laughs> um, I'm not looking my best. I have been on a very long flight today and I was sick. Said the girl who looks like that. Look at her. Look at her. Woo, you look delightful. Seriously, sure. you're tucked into a chrysalis. Look at my new trainers. I'm very excited about these. And they match your tank top. Deliberate. Darcy, welcome to America. What is that? Sand. Go, Luca! <laughs> you can do it! Woo! That's a happy boy. Look at my gorgeous beds. Look at them. Ooh. We're getting some free dirt. That's even better because this would have cost like $75 each to fill. Feel proud of your work, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Wowie, super princess girl Darcy and her fairy queen rainbow necklace friend. We've got Cinderella with a super cape and Scarlet with her eat what are these wings and bows and crowns and bejewels and glass slippers oh fox toes it completes the look oh, there's dance, it's got a necklace on as well. uh, um, uh, butterfly yeah, yeah. Red one? that's mine circa 1992 one. looks good vintage bringing it back for the brits that are watching we're in s it's, club. i know that one ain't no party like an s club party because an s club party don't stop they did that right I want to show you how. It's S Club 7, right? Yay. I interviewed them. <gasps> yeah, they were not big over here. That's how I got to interview them. If they were big, it wouldn't have been me, but it was me. Do I remember them? Not at all. <laughs> She's got one glove like Michael Jackson. Oh, oh, it's fancy. Yep, and there's a, yep. She's doing an excellent job for someone who's had to be awake for so long. I think you're done, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to get ready to take you to the hotel, and then tomorrow we're going to go do more fun stuff, because we get to see Darcy every day. We've got to play in your bedroom every day, which I wear that every day. Okay, we're saying goodbye for the day. We're tucking them in. You should know, I've now officially been awake 
a 22 hours. This is what that looks like when it's been awake that long. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, they're fairies. Okay, Scarlett, you have to say goodnight to Darcy. We're going to see her in the morning and we'll go get pancakes, okay? Oh. I want to cuddle. <laughs> they love each other so much. Don't fall off the bed, girls. all about Darcy so I had to sneak in and film a little bit. Night baby, I love you so much. I'll see you in the morning. Night, I love you. I love you too, baby. So cute. Her prayers have been about Darcy for weeks and now it's finally here and so now we have to hurry through the night and pray that the sun will come out real soon so we can see Darcy again. Amen. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good morning. Just wanted to show you something that's so Seattle. Does your city have these? We're downtown, you can take a bike, rent a bike, ride a bike, drop a bike off somewhere. They're everywhere, pretty cool. Decisions. For the girl who loves IHOP, I've taken her out of her comfort zone. But look, even the ambiance, this just looks like grandma's little pancake house. Rocking it out with the pancakes. Way too quiet music for us to be like jamming this hard. Yeah, we're getting crazy. Maybe not needs it. We're gonna go. This one's feeling it too. She's feeling it. <laughs> Sorry. She tried reenacting my dance. Because when she put her camera on me, I did a little shaky shaky thing. So she tried to reenact it. And it wasn't a shaky shaky thing for me. Just like dance the one. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> just went and I went, so this is okay. <laughs> the woman came to the table, like right to the table while Louise was doing it. <laughs> Trying to make her one move bounce. I am, I'm dancing to the music too. Can you hear the music? <laughs> this is what the whole trip is about. We are watching, see if you can name the movie by the scene. Anybody got that? Princesses. An old fashioned show. An old fashioned show. I see. It used to go on for weeks and weeks. This is a long ago, but now it doesn't. Look at all the sparkle twirl. I see all the sparkle twirl. He does? Oh, he's doing a sparkle twirl, twirl too with his mustache dealy wits. <laughs> We can't, we can't, we can't. We both sat here, we're all like. Oh my gosh, I'm actually confident. You know I am. We made it past that part, we're on to this part. I can handle the 80s hair a whole lot more than I can handle that scene. It was funny though, because we were both like sitting here, typing typing at our laptops, and then that scene started up, and I just sort of went like, over at her. Look at that hair, look at the eyeshadow. Perfect. And he walked across the room. I thought he was coming to talk to my friend Maxine. Because people were always crossing rooms to talk to Maxine. But he was coming to talk to me. And he said, I'm Ben Small of the Coney Island Smalls. At that moment I knew. I knew the way you know about a good melon. Oh, the costumes are getting more elaborate by the second. <laughs> I see. I see it all. Woohoo! I can hear I can hear Louise in the bathroom going, I can't get out. What has she done to herself? This girl in bathrooms, she has the absolute worst luck. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. She was in there, I just heard. Marie, I can't get out. Marie, I can't get out. Listen to the sounds coming from this room. <laughs> Best friend giggles. That makes me so happy. Okay, we can go home.
holding his tongue. He's just like. Yeah, I know, he grips. In we go, Luke's. We brought Darcy and Louise to gymnastics. Ready, set, go! Yay! Little feet, little feet, doop, doop, doop. Little feet, little feet, doop, doop, doop. What are you doing? Dum, 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 dum. I found this. Cool! Stepped on it. Good job. Milo, Darcy, Luca, Scarlett. All accounted for. Oh, that one too. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> and she gently as we come and safety first that's good that that Louise is looking for an excuse to get the foam pit. <laughs> Melissa's child is in there. So we have something to rescue now. You want me to vlog you or are you going to go in? There's no way out. <laughs> There's no way to come out of there without feeling completely covered in sweat. <laughs> Still looking good though. The hair looks good. It's like beach tussled, but with foam. I film this. I'm going to do it the other way. I'll find the good angle for it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that makes it graceful. Yep. We will just know that you got out. Yep. Yay! Stuck the landing. This little baby needs a squeezy little cut. <laughs> this is familiar. Do you girls remember the last time you were here? You were peeking over there, back and forth, in the last vlog. <laughs> Do you remember? That was a long time ago. Cheers. Cameras and cocktails. Cheers. It happened again. Us the waitress come out and was going, rest, rest. Aww. Hey, girls. <laughs> this was her first time seeing When Harry Met Sally last night. And your thoughts? Well, at first, I tweeted out that it's just, I'll get you some bread in a minute. I, I tweeted out that it's just like me and Jack. Uh, and then I, when I saw them do the sex part, I thought, whoops, wish I hadn't tweeted that. But in summary, I freaking loved the film and I thought it was so relatable and I loved it so much. I love everything so much. Just, there's a lot of love in the air today. So every time I give her life advice and then she responds with something, I always say, nope, wrong answer. And now she's trained to say, you're right, you're right, I know you're right. And there we go. It's better. Here's our food in case you care. The kids are splitting that. Fish and chips. I got herb crusted salmon slightly out of focus, and she got two mounds of salad, <laughs> salad mounds. And these two just love each other, and this one loves food. I'm home for a little break. Louise has some other friends that are in Seattle, so she's gonna have a late coffee with them. And we came back so that the kids could have an actual nap time today, and I think I'm gonna take a nap too. It's really nice to have her here, and the purpose isn't to vlog a lot, so I'm not sure how much you'll see in this weekly bit either, but just so that we can be real friends, not just virtual friends, around each other and talk about real life and experience stuff. So the other trips we've been on have been all about the epic, the things to see, the places to go, the people to meet, and this trip is about just what normal friends would have. Normal friends get to hang out on an afternoon and watch a movie, let their kids play and tear up their rooms together, talk about what's going on and like get down in some, into some of the layers of life. Louise and I do that all the time on Skype, but it just feels really good to do it where I can just do that to her face if I want to while she's telling me about her life. Yeah. We're here. Come on, Ed, come on, Ed, come on, Ed. We're here. <laughs> Good morning. I'm taking Louise to Mops this morning. That's Mothers of Preschoolers. I was about to say, oh. I didn't know what Mops stand for. Yeah. So I thought, I, at home, at home in the hotel, I was thinking, what does it stand for? Mothers Opposing Penises. No, mothers of preschoolers, which also doesn't fit. Neither a very good fit because I have. If you have a preschooler, you don't oppose. Oh my to gosh, a penis. she has a lot to say this morning. You Shh, don't oppose hush the now, penis. Hush now, Mothers, let's. This is the talking on baton. the penises. Oh my gosh, Louise, but Nancy's of course, watching. They make the babies in their lovely. This is the talking keys. 
time. You're not holding the talking keys. I'm holding the talking keys. What I was just going to say was, I was telling Louise, because her whole experience here is to jump inside of my world and how I live, and so we're just doing very, like, normal Marie things. Yeah, yeah, now she knows what I'm going to say. <laughs> now it's because you said jump inside, and I was talking about penises. It's because I had that sexy dream about Ed Miliband. And take two. Good morning. We had this is take two because I was too rude in take one and I said dirty things. I'm so, still putting take one in. And, Nan and Nancy's watching. I'm Sorry, still putting Nancy. take one in. The reason I wanted to bring her to Mops is I was saying that growing up I always had like strong older women around me and they would sort of talk around me but didn't really need to talk to me. I could just be quiet and like color or whatever while they did the New York Times Sunday crossword and da da da. Anyways, as I've grown up and I've lost that same feeling, being the only child and the youngest and just having all these wonderful, strong, wise women around me, you know, twittering about, Mops is that. I go there and it's lovely people talking about lovely things and they love me and I love them and I don't have to speak, I can just listen. So we're gonna go do that. Not about penises. Mm -mm. You know what this is? <laughs> This is a girl who's never been to Target before. That's what it looks like. Because you know, people can take you atop of the Empire State Building, but I brought you to Target. Can you tell what we're doing? <laughs> it's a skip it. We both were like, oh, I remember from our childhood, and then immediately went into this move, because that's what you do when you're a kid yeah. in the 80s, with a skip, skip it. it. Should I get the skip it? You see if you can do it. It leaves bruises on your ankles, old school style. Here's the bean. It is very pretty. But it's quite heavy and I only have one bag between me and Darcy. You know, that wouldn't take up much space though. You could wrap it in the middle of shirts and things and it would definitely... It's heavy. Yeah. Do you only live once? <laughs> if I think about what vintage lace actually smells like, I think of maybe mothballs and oldness. It doesn't. It smells like... What's the visual descriptor of vintage lace? Here we go. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> We're going to get... It smells like... Oh my gosh. This is really nice. It is the smell of delicate yeah. little girls going to ballet. Oh, that is nice. It's very, very lightly floral and very, very slightly warm. It's like sun-kissed dew hitting you, but with like fresh open breezes. No old people. <laughs> See, I just know how to treat a girl when they come stateside. When Harry met Sally and a candle section at Target with this big sales stickers happiness. on everything. That's what I say. I say choose happiness. Lavender lemonade. Oh, and it's, it's in a little. This is my deal. I don't know if I like this. I do, but I can't. Carry it smells like taste, when you wonder if you have bo or not. But in a mason jar. I know I just dissed this candle, but now I kind of want it. I feel like it would smell good lit. I kind of want you. I think I'm just on the Louise high of shopping. She's seeing everything getting so excited, so I'm getting so excited. It's easy to get so excited in Target. I like this. This is the kind of thing I would buy and never use, and it would hang somewhere, and I would always look at it and think, I like that. And then Louise said, she likes this. She goes, I like all the things a 15-year-old would like. And I said, I like all the things a 40-year-old would like. Oh, I feel like, scratch my boob. Enough about you, more about me. Look at this dress, Louise gave it to me. Isn't it cute? I'm packed into it like a tight sausage, but I feel very secure and safe in it, and I like it. It's it looks pretty. really pretty, it's nice color. I didn't just do a gift, it wasn't a gift, it was I bought this and it didn't fit. So then she traveled around the world to give it to somebody out of the graciousness of her heart. It doesn't matter, that's still amazing. That's still great, and I love it. I like seeing it being worn. <laughs> Honestly, it kind of doesn't fit me either. It's a bit tight, but I'm gonna wear it the crap out of it anyways. Needed, obviously, bag clips. I think this is what I'm the most excited about. These are from the dollar spot. I'm gonna put them on gifts and packages. And this lights up when you throw it in water. We're going to a birthday party for a one-year-old, so I thought that would be good. And of course, my kids need one too. Yeah, the kids' favorite treats, a new lipstick to try for my special pens. There's your little haul. B.O. candle that I fell in love with. Dave Ramsey, don't spend your money on ridiculous frivolous things envelope that obviously was needed for my non-ridiculous purchases. That cashier man just came over to welcome her to her first shopping experience at Target. Good job, Target. Go USA. She's having a perfect cliche Target experience. She just said, I just said, I just spent like a hundred pounds, but we only went to the dollar section. Like, She's all bewildered. I don't know how this happened. Yeah, Target. That's what happens. Happen? That's what happens. This is very heavy. I've got to take this home. <laughs> what have I done? Next time on the weekly bit. Crazy women on a teeter totter.